hello everyone welcome back to my channel after a long time i came back with a new hyper os 2.0 customized rom so today in this video i'm going to talk about this rom's feature lackings and at the last i will show you how you guys can install this rom on your phone so let's start the video first of all if i go to the settings i can see this is a global based rom and this rom is hyper os 2.0.2 version is on top of android 15 uh, when you boot up this rom you will get only some few apps and this is very good and cool features and another thing is you have to off the memory extension option after that the rom is perfectly and working smoothly the smoothness of this rom is really good and this rom has no fingerprint and face lock issue if i go to the fingerprint and face lock all the thing is perfectly working so there is no issues and you will also get the privacy permission password uh, this is a global based rom so you will get all the google features and the play store is perfectly working but there is a problem is the play store is not certified when you go to i can show you the play store is not the device is not certified but the, there is no problem all the banking apps and the whatsapp is perfectly working i am already using whatsapp whatsapp is perfectly working so there is no issues on that and another thing is this rom has the ios control center this is the main focus point of this rom and the ios control center is perfectly working so there is no issues and you can customize the ios control center as you want if you want to ios 18 style you can change the data position and etc etc you can easily only perfectly working the torch the uh, auto brightness this rom's dolby atmos is really perfectly working a high new on the dolby atmos feature you will feel the difference between normal and the dolby atmos so i think those who are music lover you must check it out this a Dolby Atmos feature and the perfect working. I can see the smoothness of the control center is really good, so there is no issue. And all the things is perfectly working uh, the Wi Fi connection and data connection, torch, battery saver, all the things is perfectly working, so there is no issues on it. Another cool feature of this ROM you will get the iOS type uh, recent option, and you can easily use the iOS type recent option, is perfectly working. I can see the iOS type recent option, but, but if you want to use this, you go to the settings and uh, go to the home skins. And I can you will on the go to the gestures and on the gestures after that you will uh, get the iOS type recent option and other thing is the smoothness of this ROM is really good and the other thing is perfectly working you can hide the uh, apps icons and also you can hide the Google search option from uh, there you can, you can see that if you if you don't want to use the home search bar you just tap it and just remove and here you can see the search bar is also removed from there so this is very good and another features on gallery when you go to the gallery you can see you, you will get the new customization option and creator option all the thing is perfectly working in the filters you will also get the latest filters on there and all the thing is perfectly working so the gallery function you must be satisfied and all the things and adjust feature recognize text all the thing is perfectly working so this is the very good and you can if you tap and hold on any letter you will copy from there and this is very good i think so another feature is in this rom you will get the midler and mss app midler and mss app is perfectly working so there is no issues so this is very good on this rom and another cool thing is when you boot up this rom you will not get any kind of extra and uh, any kind of unnecessary app uh, you have to download all the apps if as you need so this is very good and then another feature is the lock screen customization if you go to the lock screen i can see just tap and hold and you will get the all kind of lock screen customization all the thing is perfectly working so you can see the brand new hyper 2.0 lock screen customization all the lock screen customization is perfectly working the depth effect font effect all the thing is perfectly working but there is an issue on this rom theme store when you boot up this rom uh, the theme store is not perfectly working so don't worry about you need to just install this app i will provide the link in my description box install this app after that you need to download this module just install this module and uh, reboot your phone after that the theme store is perfectly working and in the theme store you will get the two functions you can easily use the global themes and you can easily use the china theme so this is this is a customized theme store so you can easily use any themes on your phone so this is very great and i can see i am currently using a chinese theme Chinese theme is perfectly working, but there are the issues on there. The personalization option is not working perfectly. I already check it. The personalization option is not perfectly working, 
but the other thing is perfectly working you, you need to just go here and uh, search the aod option you will get the aod function from there and you can customize the aod from there and any aod option you will get the always option okay so this is very good and you can easily customize the aod option so the another highlighted point of this rom if i go to the security i can see the xiaomi is brand new hyper 2.0 security section and if you go to the battery option i can you will get the battery options charging options you can change the charging option extender or top speed and the all the thing is perfectly working if you go to the battery protection i can see the circle count also shows here and the battery temperature and the battery health is not working but you will get the smart charging option is perfectly working but when you play game the temperature is too much high uh, it was 45 to 50 degrees so this is a issue on this rom the uh, battery temperature is also uh, increased when you play game and the battery drain is also face and you will face the battery drain issues on gaming but the daily is the battery performance is good but not up to the mark if i go to the um, uh, gaming i can see in the gaming you will get the new brand new hyper s 2.0 uh, voice changer option and the game turbo is perfectly working so this is very good but when you play again the battery is relatively drained faster and you will get less battery backup if you are a gamer so if you are a gamer this rom is not recommended for you but if you are a moderate level user like you will uh, use facebook youtube or social media browsing then you will mm, get a seven to eight hours battery backup easily but if you are a gamer you you will get the uh, five hours max battery backup but the game performance is good but the problem is the battery drain issues on gaming so this is a uh, problem on the gaming so this rom is not for a gamer if i go to the camera option i can see the sham is like a camera option you will get all the thing is perfectly working but um, i do not like this camera functions because uh, when you um, record any kind of video or take a picture the phone is hits, hits up so that's not good but you will get all the function on there you will get up to 4k 30 fps and uh, 1080p 60 fps function is also perfectly working so this is very good the picture quality of this rom is um, pretty decent and the document functions is also perfectly working so this is a very good but uh, in portrait mode you will uh, get the like a vibrant like authentic option and the other thing is perfectly working but the problem is when you uh, long time use the camera your phone must be hits up so now i am talking about this rom's lacking this rom has lots of ios type cost customization option but this rom is a hyper 2.0 rom but you will not get the cycle to search option in build and here you can see the control center is perfectly working but there is the issue you will not get any kind of dedicated bluetooth option if you just tap and hold you will the bluetooth the, the function is not came appeared so that's a problem those who uh, use any kind of bluetooth earbuds or something like that they will must face the problem and this rom's extra dim functions is not working extra dim is very more important things when you uh, use in low light so in this rom you will not get the extra dim functions the extra dim function is not working perfectly and this rom has also the battery drain issues so when you play game you will feel the battery drain issues so this is the lackings of this rom and at the last who will use this rom those who guys need a more customization like ios type control center and you will uh, and you need the ios type customization and uh, ios emojis then you must check it out this rom so i think those who loves ios type customization and those who uh, want to explore more things on your phone and need more customization option you must check it out this rom and you will not get the widgets option by default there and uh, but you can easily use the widget option from there just you can uh, tap from there and paste at your home screen widgets is not appear on the home screen i can see i already said but the widget is not appear so this is a bug of this rom so now i'm talking about how to install this rom on your phone to install this rom you need to remove all kind of fingerprint face lock and all all kinds of account like xiaomi account google account all you must remove the all kinds of account from your phone and you need to unlock your phone bootloader without unlocking your phone bootloader you cannot do anything with your phone and the other process i will show you in my laptop so so after coming up to the laptop you need to download the main rom file here is the main rom file just download this main rom file and extract this file okay after extracting this file you need to download this edb setup file 
just install this adobe setup file on your laptop or pc and you need to uh, need another file called this is me flash tool driver you need to download this me flash tool drivers and after that just double tap it and install the drivers from here okay i will provide all the link in my description box so now you need to just put your phone into the fast boot mode to doing it press the volume down and power at the same time and your phone will automatically boot into the fast boot mode now you go to the extract file then just click on underscore plus just double tap it and a new pop window will came appear now you need to connect your phone with your laptop or pc i'm connected and you can see my phone is already directed and if you face your phone is not directed or something like that i already make a video on that topic to solve this problem i will provide the link in my description box now you need to just type y and hit enter and this rom will starting flashing on your phone so it's take a few moments so wait some moment So here you can see guys this rom is completely flash on my phone and mi logo came appear on my phone so now you type just any key from your laptop and the window will automatically close so this is the installation process hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys don't understand something message me on telegram i will try to help you so thanks for watching this video